a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. This tutorial will teach you how to create page with color-coded cards and icons using employees' data. The region query uses universal theme color modifiers and selects card color as column. The region query is used to assign a color code to each row based on the value in the department number column, depending on the department number, it assigns different color codes. It also uses a column substitution in the CSS classes to get the values. The order by clause is also included, used to sort the result set on ename and job columns in ascending order in the current scenario. Now let's get started. First, create a new page. Select card type. Set source type to SQL query. From the source code provided in video description, use the SQL query code. The code retrieves the following columns from the EMP table and adds an additional column, card color, that assigns a color code based on the department number. The result will be a list of employee records with the calculated card color column, indicating the color associated with their department useful for visual representation or formatting purposes when displaying the data. Next, select the grid cards layout. And choose the following cards attributes. And create the page. On the root node, scroll down to CSS and expand inline section and use the CSS inline code. The code defines CSS custom properties variables within the pseudo class, root. By setting these variables to inherit, the code allows elements that use these variables as part of their CSS rules to automatically inherit the text color of their parent elements useful for maintaining consistent styling and for easily adjusting text color globally, by changing the color of the parent elements that these variables inherit from. Under the Cards region, make sure that the template is set to Cards Container, helpful in the appearance and layout of the region. To include this region in the Region Display Selector, turn on the switch. This attribute is only utilized if a region of region display selector type exists on the page. When a user clicks on a region name, included in the region display selector, only the selected region shows and all other listed regions are hidden. Enter CSS class provided in the source code, used to style each card. You can add multiple classes by separating them with spaces. It's important to note that CSS class names are case sensitive, a minor difference would be considered as different class name. Select the department number column to be used as a subtitle. Match the remaining properties. Duplicate the card region. When we duplicate a component, it means most of the properties will remain same. The SQL query will also remain same. And will work similarly as for card region. Under the template option, select style B. It is helpful for styling the region. Under the Attributes tab, remove the card CSS class from here, we will be using it below. Set the icon source for the icon to initials, that is displayed in the header of the card component. Select the ename column to be used as icon image source. Enter the same CSS class for the icon to add to this component.
Icon position set to top, displays the icon at the top of the header. Create a new region. It is of region display selector type, which display region names in a horizontal list, enabling end users to select one region to display and hide other regions. Only regions on the page with region display selector switch turned on, will be displayed in this region. Select the region template blank with attributes no grid, used to define the appearance and layout of this region. Include show all switch when turned on, displays all regions on the page. Select how the tab you last selected, will be remembered on page load. Tabs are remembered using static IDs, so selection will be lost if the static IDs of regions change. Selecting no option, does not remember tab selections. This page item serves as an order by clause, enabling the sorting of the result set in the current scenario by ename and job columns in ascending order. This page item is of select list type, displays an item with a built-in list of values selector. When the end user clicks the item, the list of supported values displays directly in line with the current item. Select list is best suited for relatively small discrete lists. End users can very quickly select a value from the list without needing to change focus to a pop-up dialog. It also contains static list of values. The static list of values is based on the text value we enter. In current scenario, it displays and returns the ename and job columns. The default value type for this item is also set to static. The default value is used when the item's value is not derived from session state and when the source value is null. For better visibility, move the item on the top of all regions. Save your work. Run the application. These are the color-coded cards. Select the Icons tab, which is displaying the employee's name's first two alphabets in uppercase as an icon. In the order by item, select the job column, to sort the result on job column in ascending order. To sort the records in descending order, we use the DESC keyword. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.